Hey guys, this is Mike with Resistance Photography. I'm going to give a tutorial on how I created this tiny planet, also known as a little planet. Really fun and cool, creative little idea to take your landscape portraits and make them into something really fun and exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this image. I was actually at a Byron Hotel right outside of Tracy, California. It's um, There's a lot of history behind it, so I'll possibly include the link down below. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a tiny planet out of this landscape portrait. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take and make sure that this side looks a lot like this side. And since my two sides are different, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mirror this image. So I'm going to take it. And you know, you don't have to be exact with this, but as close as you can get works well. So I'm going to hit Control C, copy it, create a new layer hit control V and what that's going to do is that's going to take the highlighted section that I had and it's going to copy it and paste it onto a whole new layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control T and I'm going to be able to select that layer and drag it over to the other side. Now you don't really have to be exact with this but as close as you can get works perfect. That way when you do create the tiny planet you don't get a distinct line with that. So now that I've done that, I'm going to apply the transformation. And I know in this last image, I had a tree right here that I really liked and I wanted to use that in my image. So what I'm going to do is choose my paintbrush, choose the mask, and since I have a white mask, I'm going to flip this over to black. I'm going to bring my opacity down so that I can see this tree. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint over it in black. And you can get exact if you want. You can spend time. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be really quick about it. And since I've done this, I can do a straight line by hitting shift and clicking right here. And then click right here. Boom. I'll bring the opacity back up. And it's not exact, but it gives me a general idea. And since these trees are right here naturally, I'm probably going to want to paint over this right here. And then I'm going to want to blend it just a little bit better. So we're going to get those crazy lines. Maybe flip back over real quick. Hit shift. There we go. That's going to work good enough for me right now. Now I want to go ahead and combine these layers so I can right click, hit merge layers <coughs> and then I'm going to go to image and I'm going to want to make this a square image so since my height is 2912 I'm going to go ahead and do the same with my width. It's better to make it smaller than to make this larger because otherwise you're going to pixelate your image and reduce the quality of what you have. So go ahead and click OK now that I have a square image, I can go to image, image rotation, and flip it 180 degrees. So now that I have done that, I go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. And I can go ahead and make that smaller, and there we go, I've got my plan. I'm going to click OK. And if I want to, I can get rid of these branches. You know, for me, that doesn't bother me so much. But I've got my tiny planet. But I know one thing I don't care for so much are these lines right here. And you'll see these on the outside. So what you can do is you can duplicate the layer, go through, blur those. But since I have portraiture, I know that'll help me out. So I'll go ahead and duplicate my layer. I'll go to smoothing high. Go ahead and I'll apply that action. Click OK. And for some people that doesn't bother them, they kind of like that. But I kind of want to blend it all together and make it look really nice. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. We're blended good, but that's applied the preset or the action to all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my brush is selected. Hit Alt Mask. Increase my brush size. I'm going to go ahead and blend this really quick. 
and I'll make sure my white is selected and blend this really quick and then after I've done that there's certain parts of this image if I want to blend the clouds a little more I can do that if I want I kind of like the distinctness of it so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to keep that and then sometimes I'll blend the center in and then we'll go ahead and just kind of compare the differences without or with the lines I'm sorry without the lines and uh, click this and just kind of make sure everything's touched up real good all the corners lines you can look at this and uh, kind of touch it up a little more this way as well and then we'll reselect that and I like that so we'll go ahead and merge those layers and if you'd like to further edit this you can go ahead and do that uh, what I like to do is go to filter camera raw filter and I'll just tweak my settings just a little bit more to me honestly that looks good I wouldn't want anything more with that but uh you know just kind of see what it get increase some contrast and drop the blacks you have some clarity maybe a little bit of vibrance sharpen it some now just a tad luminous I want to um, bring up the shadows in this real quick can I get some of those dark colors brighter there we go I like that and uh, luminous you know, we'll mess with the hue a little bit. We can get some purples going on. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. Some saturation. Bring those purples down just a tad. Now, if you'd rather stick with the blue, that's perfectly fine. You know, we'll just stick with blue for now. And the greens, we'll kind of brighten those up a little bit. And then, uh, if you want, you can go ahead add some vignetting a little bit kind of create a darker richer sky <laughs> and then let that go ahead and process it's a really cool effect I know um, kind of popular and I've been wanting to do it for about a year but I haven't actually been able to do it and uh, within the past week I've been doing several of them and I've really liked the effect I've really enjoyed it I've done a few um, skylines and they look really cool and I know I kind of want to go out and shoot some and be able to do that so this is the image I got and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the before image right there and then the after so really cool effect um, I'd really like to see your guys' versions and the type of tiny planets that you guys do if you guys have any questions or any different ways you guys have done this or would like to learn how to do this feel free to comment below and let me know and other than that you guys have a great day and stay blessed